Jürgen Klopp has completed Liverpool's pre-match press conference ahead of the visit of Brighton & Hove Albion to Anfield on Saturday. It started with bad news with regards to midfielder Fabinho. He uh, confirmed that the Brazilian has suffered ankle ligament damage and is likely to be out for the whole of the festive period of fixtures, maybe into the new year. Not good news at all. Uh, Klopp accepted that it was a massive blow for them, but uh, they will need to bring someone else in to replace them. It wouldn't be someone like for like, but he says he has a lot of good players and they will find the solution um, so he was relaxed about that situation uh, no other fresh injury worries from the midweek match against Napoli Joel Matip is still out of course he is yet to undergo a scan to uh, see what the extent of the damage is to his injury uh, we'll wait for further news on that so it's the visit of Brighton tomorrow uh, Klopp was asked whether uh, Liverpool will be able to maintain the intensity that has seen them go uh, all of the season without um, one single defeat uh, Klopp points out that uh, Actually, it's not just intensity that has got Liverpool these results. He points to statistics and Brighton, if you look at the stats, Brighton have actually run harder than Liverpool this season. Uh, they have different ways of winning. You can't always be at your best. He said if you get up in the morning and you don't feel great, if you can't give your best, you have to give your second best. And so far that's been good enough for Liverpool and has got them to where they are. Brighton, of course, 12th in the league. He had a lot of respect for them as well. He said they're a good organised side, always keep themselves in the game, are patient, will take time to try and score a goal. So we're certainly not going to underestimate them. That said, Liverpool will be expected to uh, chalk up another home win. They, they've won every single game at home this season, only dropped two points away. They couldn't be in a better position, really. Uh, he had some sympathy for uh, his uh, former counterpart at uh, Arsenal, Unai Emery, who this morning was announced that he'd been sacked by Arsenal, uh, raising questions about uh, the pressures around managers. Um, it, as Klopp, as I say, he said he was surprised, uh, but he said this is football and this is the world that they work in. Uh, it did prompt another question uh, with regards to the mental health of football managers which uh, was a question I don't think uh, Jürgen was expecting. He was a bit a bit where he went wow. He was a bit astonished by it but it is, uh, after some thinking about it he pointed to how he copes himself how he doesn't think so much about the pressures of being a football manager. He tends to ignore stuff and just control what he can control. If results are good he feels happy. If they're not so good uh, he doesn't feel happy but obviously he's been feeling pretty happy recently with the results and I'll be looking to build on that tomorrow against Brighton no doubt uh, well where Liverpool will be expected to chalk up a 13th win of the season so an important game for Liverpool tomorrow it's a three o'clock kickoff against Brighton and Hove Albion it's Richard Garner at Melwood for Team Talk